back to my channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick update and a big, big thank you to 120 subscribers. Thank you so much. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and thank you for following me on our adventures. Um, I've got a couple of videos planned for the future, um, the near future. I had a request to do a barn tour and I didn't forget I will record it um, I had recorded it and it was really windy that day and my hand was like super like all over the place and you couldn't really see what I was showing and you couldn't really hear what I was saying um, so I will do better next time at recording that and get that out for you guys um, the barn is under like construction. We are repainting and getting it looking beautiful again. Um, so hopefully, maybe by the time I get that recording, it might get repainted to its final color. So we'll see um, where the barn is at when I record it. Not that it really matters what color the barn is, but um, it is getting repainted and it's a little bit under construction right now, but that's okay. Um, quick update on everything, uh, we were gone for like nine or ten days, went back to Arizona to visit some family, and baby, um, obviously she's up here in Colorado, and so she had the past week and a half, week, week and a half to two weeks off, um, she's just been... In the pasture being lazy getting fat having fun as a horse and the video that I had recorded about um, tacking up Western you guys could see how she was just kind of like no I don't want to go back to work um, but I did end up working her butt after I had tacked her up um, I lunged her and we worked on our ground manners and I got on her for a little bit after that but it was really hot that day and as you guys saw in the video I was struggling to even talk so I wasn't really feeling all that well and it was really hot and we just worked on our ground manners got her butt in gear um, get those feet moving all that fun stuff um, I do have a plan for the near future to uh, start training her to ride bitless. I have a head stall that isn't being used currently, so I have like an idea to possibly turn that into a bitless bridle. Um, I want to train her to be able to ride both in the bit and bitless. And um, I had trained my gelding to ride bitless because after I got him and the bit that they were using on him, um, because he came with all his tack, the bit that they were using on him was a really harsh, like, um, I believe it was a curb bit. I don't really like curb bits. They're too much for an easygoing horse. <coughs> Excuse me. I had trained him to ride bitless because he was super easy going and uh, I hate curb bits the only bits that I usually use are a snaffle bit um, I have ridden baby bitless before but that was when um, I first got her and put her first rides on her um, I rode her around with a halter on in the round pin and for those of you who know about colt starting or have colt started before, um, it's important that you put your first ride on your horse without a bit because they're still figuring out what it means to have a human on their back. Um, and then you uh, introduce them to the bit after they're comfortable with a human on their back. You kind of have to take it step by step. If you do all of the tack that you normally put on a horse, um, it's just too much stimulation for their brain and they're trying to figure out what 
you know, you're doing, getting on their back, and there's this metal piece in their mouth, and so it um, is important to just put your first right on in just the halter so that they're focusing on you on top of them in the saddle um, versus all of the above. <laughs> so I plan on making sure that she can ride both in the bit and bitless and be perfectly fine, no vices for either um, bridle. Um, I want her to be the same exact horse if I chose to ride bitless that day or if I chose to ride with a bit that day. Um, for those of you who are wanting to learn a little bit more about riding bitless, I plan on taking you guys along with me in that training process um, so you guys can see kind of how I introduce the, the bitless bridle to my horses. Um, but um, training and understanding like the natural horsemanship um, Personally, I think it's a better bond between me and my horse to ride bitless. They're more comfortable. Um, they don't have a big metal piece in their mouth. It really depends on, you know, your horse and what your horse is comfortable with. Bits are a tool the same as a crop is a tool, as spurs are a tool. Horses learn by pressure and release. And what the bit is, is a tool to help them understand that pressure and release. Obviously, if you're yanking on the horse's mouth and being completely just aggressive and mean, then it becomes a very abusive tool or an abusive thing to them versus it being a helpful tool. Um, She's still learning. She's still very green. I'm not going to get rid of the bit because she is still learning. Um, I just want to challenge her because she is at that point where she needs another challenge to accomplish. And that's the next thing that I wanted to do with her. So that's the update on her. She does this weird thing where like <laughs> after I take her bridle off, when, when you take a bridle off of a horse, um, you have to take it off their ears and then let them spit the bit out. You can't just whoosh, and take it off and clank the bit on their teeth as you're pulling it down. So I take her uh, bridle off and then she like it throws her head around and then spits it out like in an aggressive way. I'm like, get that thing out of my mouth and I'm done with you. But she's... Her mare attitude coming out I guess but um, I do plan on helping her by reintroducing the bridle just because I feel like all of a sudden she's had this attitude every single time I go to put on her bit or on her bridle she'll put her head up really high and just move her head out of the way so that I can't put it on um, so I'm going to reintroduce the bridle to her and the bit to her because I don't want her to make me accidentally clink the bit in her mouth. I don't want to cause any pain for her and I don't want her to associate the bridle with any pain. So I'm going to reintroduce that um, and hopefully that kind of takes care of it. Uh, but yeah, all of a sudden she's just like, I don't want to put the bridle on because that means you're going to put me to work and I don't want to work. And really, I think that's that's all it is. I just cracked my knuckle in case you were wondering what that was. Um, but yeah, so that's my update. And again, thank you for 120 subscribers. Keep subscribing, keep liking, um, keep following me on Instagram at Wild West Cowgirl underscore um, and thank you so much <laughs> I don't really know what else to say besides thank you and um, stay tuned till next time